Equity and Bass Lodgements. The first thing I do from the Accountant Tool area, on the Report Options, I can quickly check when my bank accounts were last reconciled to and ensuring that the Bass Lodgement period that I am lodging, my bank accounts have reconciled. Then let's go to our GST Centre and from the GST Centre what you'll note is that you have every report that you need to review before you actually process your BAS. So you can reconcile your BAS to the balance sheet as cash, um, you can uh, run the profit and loss, transactions by tax code, transactions without GST, so you've got them all in the one spot, saving you time finding these extra reports. Once you've done all your checks, you've done your reviews, the BAS is now lodging in your balance sheet to what we need to lodge to. The next thing that I want you to note is that we have three tabs. One is the to do tab and this is where you'll find which BAS is due next to lodge. As you can see, we need to set ours up. Now, under the History tab is where you will see if there are any other BASs that have been processed or unlodged. And under Payments, this is where you will find the payments against any BAS lodgements that you may have done. Let's click under To Do and let's set up our GST because as you can see at the moment, it defaults to the current period, not the period that you are processing your BAS. As you can see, it says January to March and we have zero in each column. So let's get started. So our beginning month that we want to process is July 2020 to September 2020. Let's click continue it will come up with the total sales and total purchases for your GST. It will also show you the collected on sales and paid on purchases. It will also remind you, have you checked your GST codes? And when you click on this link, it will take you to the report so you can check your GST codes. Also, you have another report that don't have any GST code, so you may need to check that as well. Let's click Next. And if you had processed any payrolls for your employees for this particular period, it would automatically populate with the total sales and the total PAYG. We don't have any in this particular period, so let's click Next. Enter the instalment tax for the income instalment. We're just going to choose zero. And as you can see, it gives you a overview of the BAS that you will be paying and lodging for your client. The first thing you need to do is click on the print icon and you can print it or save it as a PDF. This is for your Cancel. Once you've done that, you can click on Mark as Lodged and you have lodged your BAS. So don't forget, you now need to go into your normal portal, ATO portal, or any other uh, software that you use to actually lodge to the ATO. Now, in QuickBooks, there's a couple of things that have happened. You can see that it's now showing the BAS for July to September, and our next to do is our IAS, and we need to pay this BAS. So let's look at recording the BAS, and you can still see that underneath the drop down arrow, we can still have a look at the different reports that we have processed for this particular BAS. You can also unlodge this BAS if there is an issue once you've marked this lodged in QuickBooks Online and you find that you need to fix a particular or particular transactions you can unlodge. Now let's click record payment 
and we can pay full payment or part payment so let's click 588 and let's choose Westpac business account uh, the date that we're paying and click save it will now remove the to do bus it will move that bus into the history of buses lodged and then under payments we can see that that's where we've actually paid that payment and it will actually match to your bank feeds when it comes through as well now the next thing that I want you to note is that in QuickBooks it will produce an automatic journal that's a GST payment if you need to fix your GST payment but we have our journal and that is a journal that is processed with the payments amounts that you've processed for GST on purchases GST on sales and if you had PAYG installments and PAYG withholding and the net amount of 588 goes to the ATO clearing account and click Save and close now behind the scenes I just want to show you the balance sheet so let's click into reports let's run that balance sheet and let's choose the dates that we're after and let's click run report and what you will find is that the ATO clearing account is $588 which when the amount is paid from the bank feeds all you will do is transfer it to the ATO clearing account which will zero that out and as you can see you've got GST liabilities PAYG and PAYG withholding payable so that journal controls all your clearing all your control accounts and that is BAS in QuickBooks Online. Simple. <music>